What is going on? Welcome to my brand new segment right here on my channel, Justin Thorson Racing. I am your host, Justin Thorson, and here in this new segment that I'm going to be doing each and every week, we're going to talk about um, each race, and I'm going to give you guys some commentary um, after each and every race each and every week, uh, give or take a week, depending on how my schedule works out. But that is what I plan on doing, guys, and we're going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys about how I thought about each race and uh, some other key points in there. And uh, so if you guys like this, please leave a comment down below and uh, make sure you have subscribed because each week, I don't know exactly when or which day, but uh, I will tr do my best, guys, to uh, do a post-race commentary um, each and every week because I love NASCAR and I love the sport. So I'm going to start doing this because uh, it's my way of uh, letting, of getting out there and talking about my favorite sport, NASCAR racing. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and let's get this new segment on the road. All right, guys. So as you can see behind me, I have my awesome backdrop here in my, in my new studio uh, for this new segment here. I also do diecast reviews. That's in the other room, actually. But uh, I have this. I actually work for Anheuser-Busch, so of course, don't drink and drive. Um, I have the Kevin Harvick Bush hat because uh, number one, he won this last race, and number two, uh, we do sponsor him because, of course, Anheuser-Busch is Bush beer. So uh, let's get right into uh, the Folds of Honor 500 that took place uh, this last Sunday at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Man, what an awesome race that race was. Uh, yes, there were no, not a lot of wrecks. Uh, only two cautions that were not stage, uh, stage break cautions, but nonetheless, guys, it was actually a pretty good race, and I was pretty impressed. Um, there was a lot of drama going on. Uh, you had uh, Hamlin and uh, Logano uh, trying to use pit strategy to uh, to try to win the race, and that was actually really fun. I know there's a lot of people out there who do not like the stage racing, and uh, they're very much against it. But you know, I kind of it's kind of grown on me lately. Um, to be able to have these new pit strategies, and uh, it really hasn't taken the fuel mileage out of racing like I actually thought it was going to um, when it first started. Excuse me, but uh, nonetheless, Harvick put on a show and he completely dominated the race for the first time in a couple years. Uh, we actually got to see Kevin Harvick dominate the race and win. So many times his car uh, would just fall off, and uh, other teams would catch up. By the end of the race, and you would see Harvick just wheeling that car as hard as he could, scraping the wall and uh, trying to catch uh, whoever was in front of him. Usually it was Jimmy Johnson, uh, Martin Truex Jr., uh, Brad Keselowski. They were all always beating him last season. And I think this year, Stuart Haas Racing is back on top. Um, I have, I'm have i kind of biased, again, because uh, I am a huge Stuart Haas Racing fan. Uh, of course, Kurt Busch, he is my favorite driver. Um, but I, I do like Kevin Harvick, of course, because, uh, he's my, our company driver for me, um, obviously, but, uh, definitely great to see Stuart Haas racing all their cars in the top 10, most of the race. And, uh, to see Kurt Busch up there leading, I think he's about 51 laps. That was fantastic. That team has come around. So Stuart Haas definitely has an edge on the field this year. And there was Ford fusions and, uh, those new Chevy ZL ones just aren't, don't seem to be cutting it this year. And, uh, Another point I need to bring up is Jimmy Johnson. Uh, he had more troubles here at Atlanta, but people are asking, should we be worried? I don't think you should be worried. Jimmy Johnson does this every single year. He starts out crappy, and then by the time, by about midseason, he is back on it, and that team is clicking every single week, and you just can't seem to beat Jimmy Johnson. So I'm not worried at all. Um, I seem to see this every single season with Mr. Johnson. So uh, don't be worried because he's going to be back flaming hot and he's gonna start winning races again this season um other than that guys uh atlanta is one of my favorite racetracks to watch and why is that you ask because of the old asphalt that gritty that gritty racing and the wide racing and the high banks it just makes for a very exciting race uh even though there wasn't a lot of cautions or wrecks um it just makes for a lot of fun it's a very wide racetrack so you get a lot of different lanes going and uh, especially now with the asphalt being so old and the tire fall off um, is just like uh, Darlington used to be. Um, that is the new Atlanta. So please 
Do not repave Atlanta. Let's not repave Atlanta. Hashtag don't pave Atlanta because that is going to be the one of the last uh, great racetracks on the schedule. That's going to be exciting for fans. Um, Darlington, it's always going to be a fun race to watch Darlington, but uh, it's not what it used to be. And uh, so definitely let's keep Atlanta how it is. Unless, of course, the track starts falling apart, kind of like Martinsville did. But uh, Atlanta should be good for a while. Um, anyways, this next race, it is Las Vegas. It is the Bush Brothers' hometown. And uh, I think the Bush Brothers are going to do very well this weekend. Not sure which if they're going to be able to pull off a pole. Kyle Busch, possibly. Ryan Newman, always in the works. Especially this year, he seems to have a very fast uh, Camaro Z01. So we'll see if he can pull off the pole as the Rocket Man should. Uh, but Kevin Harvick, we got Truex. Those guys should be able to be, get up there. And uh, as far as the race goes, Harvick is going to be hard to beat. Uh, Truex, I think he's going to have an edge also. But uh, I'm pulling for the Bush brothers. I think one of them are going to be able to pull off their hometown victory. So let's go, Kurt. Uh, Kyle, I wouldn't mind seeing Kyle Busch win. Um, hopefully he doesn't get another fight. Actually, I hope he does. You know, we need more, uh, we need more drama. We need more fights uh, back in NASCAR, you know. And real quick, side note here, guys, uh, when we talk about drivers we don't like, like Denny Hamlin or maybe Joey Logano, um, let's not say things like, uh, oh, he shouldn't be racing, we need to kick him out of the sport. No, let's not say that, because uh, we need that. We need people to not like drivers, and we need people to love drivers. Uh, that's what makes this sport awesome, and that's what makes drama, and that's what makes it fun to watch. So, as personally, I'm not a Joey Logano fan, um, and I've become not much <laughs> of a Denny Hamlin fan. But, you know what, I love seeing it in the sport because that's what we need. We need bad boys. We need guys getting in there and making drama and mixing things up. So as long as they don't do anything too stupid, um, it's going to be fun to watch. And I can't wait to watch each and every week because of things like that. So uh, go Kurt Busch. And I think that I'm going to wrap that up right here, guys. So let me know how you like my new segment down below in the comments. Make sure that you have subscribed. I'm going to make sure I do this next week after the Las Vegas race. It is the Pennzoil 400 presented by Jiffy Lube at Las Vegas on Sunday, uh, 3.30 p.m. So uh, on Fox, make sure you tune in, everyone. And uh, if you're going to enjoy a beer, please enjoy responsibly. Dilly dilly, everybody. And uh, we will see you next week for another segment right here, Justin Thorson Racing. I'm Justin. And uh, my new segment, Post Race Commentary. And uh, we will see you guys very soon.